Welcome to Intentional Lounging, brought to you guys by Better and Green. We're breaking down the Week 8 Thursday night football game between the Minnesota Vikings and Los Angeles Rams. If you guys haven't yet, please subscribe and press that like button. Leave us a comment that we will ask you a question later on in the show about. Um, also, if you guys haven't and you don't know about us, Fridays we come out with new videos. And Wyatt here was, was a loser from last week's episode, and so he has to speak the entire episode in an accent. So if you want to see what Wyatt chooses, what gets us demonetized forever, then make sure you guys <laughs> tune in on Friday, tomorrow coming out. Uh, guys, let's get into the game. So we have the Vikings heading to Los Angeles to face the Rams. Rams are two-and-a-half-point home dogs. Overrunner set at 48. Spoiler alert, everybody. We're all on the Rams here. I don't know... What your guys' uh, thoughts are about this game. Minnesota finally coming off their first loss. Los Angeles Rams kind of pulled out an ugly one against the Raiders. Raiders covered. We were all on the Raiders there. Weird line. Raider, er, Rams are at home, plus two and a half. I don't have a super strong feeling. Why? what do you think? Yeah. Uh, and again, I've, you know, I was a loser this week. I was a loser last week. Uh, I've been a loser, I think three times this year. It's just, you know, it's not been going well picking the obvious side, but I think it has to come back somewhat to normal pretty soon. And the obvious side is the Vikings here. I mean, yes, they lost to Detroit. It was their first loss of the year. They lost by a game winning time ending field goal. Like they easily could have won that game easily should have won that game. Um, and the fact that you can get them at minus two and a half under a field goal right now, I know they're on the road traveling a little bit, but that just seems crazy to me. So the Vikings are 100% the obvious side. I know as soon as I start taking obvious bets, I'm going to get absolutely rolled. And then I'm going to be in my head and very upset. So I got to take the ugly. I got to take the ugly and take the Rams. I don't think a whole lot of people are going to be jumping on them. Uh, to me, that line not jumping to three. Um, is very alarming and uh, is making me love the Rams. I know Cooper Cup is possibly back or is back. Um, don't love playing on injuries and guys returning, uh, which I am doing a couple times this week. But um, I think he's a huge advantage for the Rams, and I think it's a bad spot for the Vikings. Emotional loss, short week. Rams got nothing to lose at home. John McVay, yeah. Uh, give me the ugly. Give me the Rams here. Yeah, yeah. Um... Just starting off here, uh, I'm wearing the Seahawks hat today because that's the only team that pulled through for me last week. Uh, <laughs> why I've been the loser for the show, I've been the loser all year long. I'm in absolute piss. So I need help. I need comments. I need an anytime touchdown scorer Thursday night football. Give me a long shot. I need to make up some units fast because I am down bad. So <laughs> let us know in the comments. Give me your best long shot anytime touchdown scorer that's going to hit. Um, I could use all the help, uh, and we'll shout you out next, next week. So yeah, anytime touchdown in the comments, hit the like button while you're there. Um, as far as this game, um, Ben, you said it, we're all in the Rams. I actually prefer the Rams in a teaser. Um, obviously we just do the simple spread for the graphics. So I will be on the Rams in that facet, but yeah, Minnesota off the loss to Detroit. Um, you know, when you're, you're overachieving to get to five wins. No one really saw them as even a playoff team this year. Um, I think that first loss kind of puts some doubt in your head. You know, we're not, um, you know, we have some weaknesses, some vulnerabilities. Now they have to play Sunday night football next week, a game that got flexed into Sunday night. So it, it's kind of on a short, um, you know, they just got knowledge of it. So I think there could be a, a touch of a look ahead. They're playing Indianapolis a team they should be able to beat and an out-of-conference team. So I do wish it was a bit more of a meaningful game for Minnesota, but to be flexed into a Sunday night game, I mean, that's a pretty big deal, and it's because of Minnesota. It's not because of Indianapolis. Um, on the flip side, I do just like the Rams in the spot. They are getting Cooper Cup back. Um, and, you know, they, they survived that stretch without Cup and Puka. Puka went down week one, I believe Cup week two. Um, since week two, they started off 0-2. Uh, they split, broke even two and two without Cup and Puka. So I think they're happy about that. Um, they need wins now. San Fran is underachieving. Seattle's lost, uh, well, before this past week, three in a row. Um, and the Cardinals aren't any good. The Rams picked up one of those wins against San Francisco. So they're still in the thick of it in the uh, division race. So this is just a huge game for them. They do have Seattle on deck, but they have no, no place to be looking ahead. They're two and four. They need wins. Um, so yeah, I think Rams at home, short week, Minnesota travel, tough loss, put a huge effort into Detroit, tried to make the comeback, fell just short. Um, bad spot for Minnesota. I think LA 
comes out. Uh, I think they keep it close. I do like them in a teaser. Uh, but honestly, I, I do think they have a good shot to win outright. Stafford knows the Vikings well, too. Good point. Good point there. Um, yeah, with this game, you guys hit a couple things that made me a little bit more confident in the Rams. Especially, like, if you're looking at this game, it is in Los Angeles. And they had that game. This is a short week. You come off of a heartbreaker. Then you your practice schedule's messed up. Then you have to leave early. Your sleep schedule gets a little messed up. Things start going wrong early. It's easy to kind of come unhinged. Maybe a couple more penalties than you're used to. Maybe you guys are giving up a little earlier. So I think that's actually really smart. I think you guys brought up some great points. So let's go the Rams plus the two and a half. I like it, boys. Anything else to add before we get out of here? Hoping the ugly bets hit this week. I need them to. <laughs> the sharps, they are very let me let me rephrase that. Not the sharps. The line makers this week are the ones that are really, really tough. And it's going to be really hard to get out this week uh, on the positive side. So we're going to help you guys try to get through that. Get through this slate. Get through this week uh unscathed by Vegas. So make sure you guys come back on Friday. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace, guys. Later, guys. See you guys. You better start listening to the Better in Green podcast. You will not regret it. Trust me, trust me, trust me. And hey, I'm Dean Blandino. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Better in Green. eh? To Better in Green. eh? To Better in Green. eh? Listen in and cash out. That's what it's all about. Come on, let's make cash now. We always on spot and we cover all spot from the bottom to the top. Hey. Shout out to Ethan, shout out to Wyatt, shout out to Ben. Welcome, welcome to our podcast. Better win green.